Hi everyone, I'm Nicole van der Hooven, and recently we released version 0.30 of K6. I will leave a link in the description below for the full release notes, so you can check out all the details there, but I do want to highlight a few of the features in this release that I think are pretty interesting. The first one is something called a shared array. Now, if you've ever had to run a load test with large data files, so that could be, for instance, a, a long CSV with a username and a password for all of the users that you want your load testing script to log into your application with, then you might have run into the problem of having to copy that very large file on all of your load generators. That's not exactly the most efficient way to do it, and it does affect the resources available on your load generators for actually executing your scripts. The problem is that that approach is okay when your CSV file looks like this, but what if it looks a little more like this with thousands of rows of data? The shared array fixes that problem entirely. It's basically a way for all of the virtual users on a load test to read to the same single copy of the data file. Here's how it works. It is actually pretty easy to use. We just need to import shared array from K6 data here. So now we have to create a new shared array. We're calling it shared data right now. And it, all it does is open the same CSV file and then here in our login step, we can select a random user from that shared data. This is actually where we are passing the username and password from this CSV file as a body of this HTTP request. So K6 is going to then dynamically copy at runtime a row that the virtual user requests from that larger data set. The second feature I really love in this release is the ability now to customize the output summaries that K6 displays by default in the CLI. So this is normally what that summary looks like, but what if you want this in another format? Well, it's actually pretty easy to do that now. All you need to do is to add this new function called handle summary. And if you have this function, then it's going to override the default K6 one. So you can control exactly what this function returns. You could also, for instance, transform those results and output it as an XML or a JSON file in whatever format you'd like. I think this feature is awesome because results analysis is crucial for a load test. And this helps you just bring the focus back on what exactly you're trying to do. This version also adds support for array buffer in HTTP request bodies. So if you wanted to build some sort of binary body and send that with your requests, you can now do that. And additionally, that also would fix a few of the issues that we've had around form data. That's it for this release. Check out the release notes for the full list of bug fixes and more details about the features that I've mentioned, along with examples from our documentation. Till next time, thanks for using K6.